Hi, this is Eric. Hi, this is Maddie. And this is The Gutters, my audio journal. And uh, as you heard, uh, Madison is back with me. Uh, last time we talked together on a Gutters episode was back in September of 2023, where we discussed our family vacation to New York, New York. <laughs> She's just looking at me. <laughs> no banter from this one. Okay. Uh, and uh, uh, to continue the tradition, I guess, uh, we are back here today to do a special uh, gutters to talk about our family vacation from 2024. Yes. Okay, there we go. Now she she speaks. Okay, good. Um, this time, however, we're going to talk about the... Uh, the uh, uh, what, what did I call them before? Uh, the, the happiest places on earth is what I'm going to call this episode because we went on a Disney cruise for five days, was it? Four days? Five days? Something like that. Yeah. And then we, because we were over on the East Coast, uh, uh, my daughter Brittany decided, hey, we're, let's go to Disney World too. And we're, and we're like, okay, fine, let's go. <laughs> No, we, we wanted to go. We wanted to spend time with them and um, ride a bunch of rides, right? Yes. So we planned this whole thing out. Disney Cruise, Disney World, and an uh, one day at, where was it? Universal Studios Harry Potter. Land. Yeah, Harry Potter stuff. Because Madison's a big fan. And yeah, so we're going we're gonna to be talking through our time with that and our experiences and, and whatnot. So I guess let's get to it. So uh, we went on, like I said, a Disney cruise. This is this is uh, was uh, my daughter Brittany's one of her passions, I guess. She really wanted to go on this Disney cruise and invited us along. And we went on the this was on the Disney Wish ship. Yes. Right. And the uh, newest to make. I was going to say it's the newest ship, right? Yes. And uh, OK, so I've been on a cruise my wife Kitra has been on a cruise. Brittany has been on a cruise before because the last time we went on a cruise together was in 2005, which happens to be the year that my lovely granddaughter Madison was born. In fact, we were on our way back. We'd just gotten back to, um, I don't know if it would be, we were actually still in on the East Coast when we got the call or was it when we got into Spokane and spent the night um, I don't remember, but uh, either way, it was on the way back from that trip back home when we got the word that you were born. Surprise. Yeah. <laughs> and now, nearly 25 years later, here we are, you and I talking about your first cruise and mine, my first one since that last one. So it's been a long time. I, you know, quite honestly, I was not all that keen on going on the cruise because... I, I, I find them kind of boring. Despite everything that you can do on a, on a cruise ship these days or even in the last 25 years. I don't know. Uh, uh, being on a ship, it's it's OK. It's it's fine. But I, I prefer the excursions, uh, which we had one uh, of a sort. I, I mean, I, I, technically, I guess it is because we disembarked the, on the ship. We'll get to that. But um, I, I, what I was curious about was from your perspective this is your first time doing uh, a cruise just just generally real generally well what were you thinking uh going into it uh was there anything you were looking forward to were you excited about and tell the listeners you know what what was your overall impression of the cruise generally well when i found out we were going on the cruise i was like really excited for it i thought it was going to be a lot of fun it looked like there was a lot of things to do, and I was, like, checking out some of the um, clubs that they had. But because I turned 18, I was not allowed to go to any of the clubs, which I was kind of disappointed about because you, they were really cool. But you mean they, they were the ones uh, for the younger... Uh, they had different tier age groups for various clubs. Yes. And uh, I think the one you were really excited about was for the something to age 17 right? yeah yeah because it had like a bunch of like games like basketball like all of that kind of stuff and it was just it seemed really cool mm -hmm. but the age cut off was 17 so and it was kind of disappointing what was but. what uh what could you do though given that you're your age now on, on the ship um well i mean what, I, the, was there any there was, 18 plus social gatherings that you recall 
the things that they had for like 18 plus like kind of club stuff is like nightclubs and like stuff like that mm. but i didn't really go to any of those what was the one that you you did pop in to check it out and you immediately walked out <laughs> It Do you was, remember? Yeah, it was the um, Oogie Boogie, uh, like, dance um, nightclub. Mm. Like, I don't know if it was one night or multiple, but it just, it didn't seem very fun, and there weren't very many people. And I, I just, I it seemed awkward, so uh, I left. <laughs> uh, okay, so one, you, I recall you saying that it was lame. Yeah. And I'm like, how could you even tell just by walking in and walking back out? And then two, if there if it had been, you know, uh, a lot more people, would you have been more comfortable staying and participating? Yeah, I feel like um, at least for a little bit longer. But because there weren't very many people and it just like it seemed very empty and mm. like I was expecting them to like do more with it, I guess, like have more than just like like light change. Again, you, you walked in and almost literally walked back out. So how do you know they didn't have other things well, planned? I don't. Yeah. But. <laughs> okay. So, for, but generally speaking, you feel like that, that your choices to hang out with your, with your peer group were limited on this. Yes. On this cruise. Okay. All right. Uh, any other thoughts just kind of generally about the ship? I mean, I liked all. You know, the going the- into it. Yeah, the one of the main things that I was looking forward to after like finding out what I can and can't do was going and looking at like all the art and everything that um we saw like in videos that we were watching and all of that kind of stuff. And then going into like the bars and stuff. Yes. Lounges. <laughs> bars. Technically that's they true. They are bars. Um uh uh we'll we'll talk about those too specifically. All right. Well, good. Um, like I said, I, I wasn't all that uh, interested in going on another cruise. I, I've told uh, my wife for years, I never want to step foot on a cruise ship ever again. But but here we are. I did because, you know, that's every, everybody in the family wanted to do that. That's fine. Uh, I actually did enjoy my time on it. Uh, we did not get seasick. Well, uh, I well, almost he, did. He almost did. but That not, first night, yeah. But compared to when we went on that other cruise, you know, almost 25 years ago, uh, all three of us got seasick that first uh, that uh, first night. Yeah. So, I almost fell out of my chair that night. <laughs> we'll get, we'll talk about that. Yeah. Uh, uh, so that was good. And, you know, it was just, it was a, it was a very relaxing, yeah. for the most part, very relaxing cruise. And, and then we... Uh, got off on on that island, and we'll we'll talk about more uh, more about that in a minute too. So I I uh, you know just from the relaxation and just kind of hanging out with the family and the dinner situation and the shows that we saw, it was, you know, it was a nice it was a nice five day trip, generally speaking. So, uh, what, are are you now interested in doing additional cruises after this one? Um, whether it's Disney or not, I think so. I feel like. I want to go on another cruise, but more for aimed towards like adults and older people, because it seems like there'd be more to do for um, that age group, Uh, because the Disney cruise is more aimed towards the kids, it seems like. And so like younger age groups. Mm -hmm. Uh, That is true. Um, And I know that uh, Brittany is uh, planning uh, another cruise for her herself and her husband. So I think maybe you should talk to her after she after they do that. And she probably because she's probably going to pick one where it's just the two of them. Yeah, because they and, were talking about like Carnival or whatever. Yeah. Uh, Royal Caribbean. I yeah, think is the other one. one. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, I don't I don't ever need to go on another cruise ever again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess it depends on where it goes, but, you know. Like what sunny it was. Yeah, for the most part. I think we, yeah, the weather was really good on that, wasn't it? Yeah, on the cruise, it was really nice. There was, it was a bit windy at times, but, you know, you're on the ocean, so, you know, that's to be expected. I think we had maybe one day that had a little bit of rain. Did we? I, uh, well, when I got up in the the morning and I went walking around myself. Oh, yeah. Because everybody else was still asleep. um, There was a little bit, the decks were a little wet. Okay. and, And so, and it wasn't because they were 
cleaning them. You know, that, that was a nice. Okay, uh, I should I should talk about that. So uh, this was a very clean ship, and uh, I was surprised. It was everything, and and the the customer service. You know, they especially our our servers, so good, so good. If you want, if that's the kind of experience you want from a cruise, a cruise line, um, uh, Disney is is pretty good. I'm, you know, just you just you got to deal with the Disney stuff. I mean, I was being targeted <laughs> by our server, but it's fine. <laughs> it's because you're so taciturn. Okay, let's get into our day by day breakdown of of our trip. So. Um, we we uh, get on the ship. It is uh, early to late afternoon. By the time we get all our stuff, we get checked in and we're allowed to go into on, or, or board the ship. Um, and when we get in there, they announce us. Yes. Yeah. And they did. They did that on the on the, the different crews that we did, you know, in 2005 as well. So it's kind of neat that, you know, you, you kind of feel special. And who was uh, up on the balcony in that main entrance area? Greeting everybody. Yeah. So you would walk up. They would be like welcoming like your last name, this like last name and then family. Mm-hmm. And then you would walk in and you would look up and like at the top was like Cinderella and Prince Charming waving at everyone saying yeah. hi, just like watching everyone walk in. Yeah. And I, then, I thought that was cool. Yeah. And uh, they had uh, some statues and stuff for kind of like photo opportunities. There was one statue. Was that? I thought there were two in there that you could take pictures with. No. Okay. Uh, anyway, so yeah, there's the photos, photo opportunities uh, with that. There's a, a stage right there, right, yeah. right below where Prince Charming and Cinderella were. I saw kids dancing on that stage all the time, even when there wasn't any music, uh, which is cute. Yeah, but <laughs> one pretty much once they got everyone in. They had like a kind of little welcoming mm-hmm. performance kind of thing. Kind of. With like the lighting yeah. um, in that like main yeah. open air. Right. Entrance area. Yeah. I, was there singing? I don't think there was singing. No, it was just music. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just to welcome everybody. Um, and then they also did later as we started sailing out of port... They did a the sail away celebration, mm-hmm. and that was on deck five, I think it was, where you know the, where all the the open deck was, where they would show the movies twenty four seven. I That's think. deck eleven. Deck eleven. Okay, yeah, you're right. Deck five was. I was like, deck five is not right. Deck five was the dining deck, wasn't it? I don't know the where the main restaurants were. I don't know. I think so. Anyway, but you're right. Deck eleven was kind of like the open deck area. That's where they had the. Um, Outdoor performances and pools yeah. and uh, the what do you what would you call that? Like the a la carte food uh, venues as well. You can walk the length on both sides, port and and uh, starboard. They had food stations where you could get and that's that's that was the free. Well, I guess all the food or most of the food was free anyway. Yeah. So in our dinner, our, our formal dinners in the evenings, as well as all the rest, mm-hmm. all the pizza tacos uh barbecue ice cream, ice cream hamburgers ice cream. hot dogs french fries sodas yeah yeah so if you if you like all that junk food <laughs> which we did um but yeah the ice cream was actually i i actually partook in the ice cream more than i thought i would yeah i so, remember yeah. that first day when i um took the kids and got ice cream mm-hmm. <laughs> like at the very beginning as soon as we got there yeah well, so, okay, so uh, I can't remember. We, did we go to our rooms first and then went to the sail away celebration? I think we did. Yeah, we did because we dropped stuff off. And yeah, then, that's right. That's yeah. right. And we were waiting for our luggage to be all of them to be delivered to the rooms. Um, and yeah, that we had we went to the the celebration and basically just stood there near the stage because. Uh, Kitra and Brittany had basically, or I think you were with them. I don't know. Yeah, I was. You guys had kind of took over this little area where it had some railing so we could lean on it or whatever, put our drinks mm-hmm. on it, um, and, uh, and, and kind of saved room for for me and maybe Lucas and I don't I don't know I don't yeah. remember exactly now, but we had this little part and they did a little a little dance and song number to welcome us. That was really kind of neat. Um, you could really see. I thought anyway, the, the performers, they, you know, they were dressed in their, uh, ship 
uniforms, Disney ship uniforms, and but they were out there dancing and and some of them were singing and I don't know. I just I, I was paying attention to how they were presenting themselves mm-hmm. as they were doing the number, and it felt like you know this they they were into it. They seemed into it. Yeah. So you know they they were good performers in that sense, as opposed to oh my gosh, I have to do this thing again type type situation, right? I think that's one of the things about like um, working with Disney, not as a character, but just like in general. Mm -hmm. I feel like they seem to have a lot more fun with it because they seem to have more freedom in how they move and present themselves, I guess. Or that's the illusion that they're creating because they have to be very strict in how they present themselves. Probably. Which is probably what what it is, really. Probably. But, but, you know, Disney is very strict. But they but they hire people that fit that. Mm-hmm. that mold that they're looking for right yeah um but but it, but they do a good job is is really my point yeah. so I'd anyway your... so so we did that we attended that sail away celebration and then i think we went back to the rooms and finished we unpacked at some point but then we had we had uh our first dinner our well, formal yeah, dinner i know we had our little like safety briefing but i don't know when that oh, was yeah that's right we did that first you're right and yeah, then, and then we kind of walked around the ship, like kind oh, of checked true. it out, yeah, and a then bit. Yeah. went to like the front of it, and we're not expecting the, the, the bow. That's called, yeah, it's called a bow. I couldn't remember. <laughs> and we weren't expecting the horn. Oh, yeah, that was pretty loud. That wasn't was it? really loud. Uh, yeah, so I mean, that's kind of expected for a ship of that size, but um, yeah, that's right. We did the 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 briefing, which uh, it was really hot in that room. I don't know if you remember that. Yeah. I was I was dying. It was, and I'm I'm usually not. Just like you, we're usually chilly. I'm cold right now, so yeah. Well, we are in the basement, so it is cold in here. Yeah. <laughs> I can't turn the heater on. Um, all right. So uh, we did that, but then we had uh, we had dinner, our f- first formal dinner. Yes. And this was in the Worlds of Marvel dining room. And it was cool. And that was, I have to admit, that was one of the things that I was really looking forward to. It was, was cool. Was that. So you walk in. And it's all kind of like this LED lighting and there's there's stuff playing on after you get sat down. There are uh, uh, there were where we were anyway, on both both walls, there were screens and eventually they did a a bit of a show. Yes. And so between basically between courses, they would play this little video starring Ant-Man and Wasp. I forget. Was there somebody else that they brought in at this? uh, Spider-Man. Was it? No, no, no. Not Spider-Man. I thought he was on the was he on show. The, in the video in the show? Oh, you're right. You he was. You're right. Was he like, was. I thought so. Yeah. Uh, I, for some reason, I was thinking it was Fury or something. Oh no, I think I think Ant Man got a call from Fury. Yeah, he and did. he was just talk. It was just him talking to you know you know Fury. Yeah, and he was the... just like, <laughs> okay, ciao. Anyways. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh. So yeah. So we get sat down and there's these little I don't know lit things uh standing kind of. Kind of like the. They were kind of promoting Quantum Mania. Yeah, they in were. That way. You're, you're right. You're right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because part of the show was interactive, and so that device that was sitting in the center of our table was something that I think five people had to press at the same time or in sequence. I don't mm-hmm. remember now. In order to feel like you're doing something as part of that show, which yes. I, I thought was pretty cool. It was. It was. It was a neat little you know little blurby thing for Ant Man and whatnot. It was really heavy too. Oh, you picked it up? Yeah, because I was moving it out of the way. Oh. Um, because we they were trying to set stuff down, so I had to move oh, it, right. and it was surprisingly heavy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, and then later, who did we get a visit from? We got Spider Man. Spider Man actually showed up, and he was great. Just yeah. just like just like the performers at the at the sail away celebration. Whoever this guy was beneath the mask, did a great job of being or evoking. Um, that kind of like teenager like energy. Yeah. Well, uh, who's who's the actor that plays Tom Holland? Tom Holland. He was like that uh, version of Spider Man. I feel like yeah, because the way he was kind of walking, such running around and like kind of jumping in that way is mm-hmm. very like Tom Holland. It, yeah, yeah. And it was like pretty entertaining, but I feel like it makes sense because Tom Holland is the most recent yeah. Spider Man. Oh sure, sure. So it's like it makes sense. Uh, what I really liked about it was he stopped by most, if not all, the tables. Yeah. And especially if there were kids there, you know, he wanted, you know, wanted to take pictures with them. Mm-hmm. And he'd pose, you know, that classic Spider-Man pose where he puts his arm out like he's going to shoot his webbing. And just, you know, it was just so much fun. Honestly, 
I really wanted a picture with him, <laughs> but I was, I didn't, he, he, you know, that was the other he thing. He was moving quick. He though. was, yes. To get through both sides of the dining room. Yeah. Um, yeah. He had to, he had to do that, but, but that was a lot of fun. Uh, that's when I almost fell out. Oh, of my oh chair. yeah. Yeah. That's right. So, so talk about that. What, what do you mean by that? What, okay, so what, what was going on? When, when we were eating, I was in between you and grandma. And when we knew Spider-Man was coming around, I switched spots with Grandma because she was on the left end of the table, which would be the closest to where he would be. And so when I switched spots with her, because I that night I feel like the um, shaking or like moving of the boat was really bothering my head. Yeah. Like and giving me a really bad headache. So when I switched spots, I went to sit in her seat and... As soon as I like sat down, I immediately felt like I was about to fall off the chair because it was like m- sweating so much yeah. and like just the movement of it was like really noticeable for me. I I noticed it too. Mm-hmm. Um, pro- it probably wasn't as pronounced for me as it was for you, uh, but because it didn't it didn't upset me or, or you know didn't make me feel weird or sick or anything. But you know I I was kind of surprised that you didn't get seasick after because I thought that you know because you're. You're, 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 you're getting your sea legs is what they call it. You know, getting used to that, that rocking wavy motion on, on ships. And, and, uh, uh, that's, that's what made us seasick the last time that we were on. It's only like, if I'm like sitting down there long enough, then that's what, when it bothers me, if I'm up walking around, it's fine. What about later when you were in bed? Did you, I think that first night it was really bad. (laughs) Like it was moving quite a bit and you could feel it, but, um, I feel like that didn't bother me as much when I was laying down. It was more of the fact that, like, it was kind of squashed. But if I was sleeping on the couch, it would have been the same. So it's like, yeah, it was fine. Mm-hmm. And how did you like, uh, because we were in a room, uh, which was not a, uh, I don't know what they call it, uh, like a port, a porthole side room or something. We were more yeah. in, inward of, in the ship. Uh, so it was very actually I when we got in there and started unpacking and stuff, it, it, I felt a, a bit claustrophobic because there was not a lot of room to actually move around in there. Mm-hmm. But uh, Kitcher and I had a king size bed that we could sleep in. And you had the choice of sleeping on the couch bed or couch. Yeah. Was it a couch bed? It was a couch bed. Or and our steward was the one who who asked what you wanted to do. And he's the one that would set it up for mm-hmm. for you at night but and that was the other thing too is like if if you've not been in a cruise uh, my two experiences have been that the stewards come in and prepare your room for when you come when you turn in in the evening and like with you he would take the ceiling bed and and put it down yeah. for you to access and then he would also do a little towel animal a towel yeah a towel sculpture mm-hmm. uh that's that's a common thing i guess and yeah there was one so we were when <laughs> that we, first night yeah what was the first one? The first one was like a swan or swan, something, yeah. and he put my uh, sunglasses on. Oh, that's it. right. He yeah. would, yeah. I think some people, like, <laughs> like uh, Brittany's husband, probably didn't wouldn't appreciate uh, someone touching his stuff. I I kind of don't. Like I it thought either. it. I thought it was funny. Yeah, it, well, I mean, it looked cool, but it's mm-hmm. like, why are you touching my stuff? So, uh, but but it was really neat. Uh, there was one where he did. Oh, was the swans the the heart shape, or was that something else? No, I think that was also because I think he did more than one swan. Okay, because because uh, while we were on the cruise, we uh, w- Valentine's Day occurred, and so I remember uh, that day he he had produced a a sculpture that looked like a heart, mm-hmm. and then put some, I think it was Valentine's chocolates. candy. Yeah. So okay, there's that. Um, okay, so you but you did you were fine in the in that bed right for the the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's just, yeah, I didn't really like how small the room was because yeah. I, I could not move, yeah, like, hardly was... at all. Like, especially look, with you guys, it's like you have that, like, half of the room just for your bed. And then it's like my one, like, little area and then, like, where we would all walk. So it's really like I couldn't really move or do much. And it was kind of well, bothering me, but I wasn't surprised. Uh, yeah, just that's what that's what happens. Yeah. We, we, we can't afford like huge <clears throat> state rooms. So, you know, oh, well, um, we did go see a show that first night. Uh, the the uh, Disney Seas 
The seas yes. as spelled S E A S. So Disney sees the adventure. <laughs> Cute, right? Anyway, it was a bunch of Disney characters doing some song and dance thing, basically kind of kicking off the whole cruise. Yes. The star Goofy as the captain of his ship in the, in his in his daydream, and, and yeah, uh, lots pretty, of different characters, yeah, showed up, including some of the more recent. Uh, I don't remember which ones. Like you know, I don't, maybe Ariel was in there. Uh, some other other I Disney mean, they princess had, type characters. Yeah, but they also had characters like Hercules, which you don't see very often. Was that the in the first one? Yeah. Okay. He's one of the characters that showed up, and I was really surprised about it because you don't usually see him or like those characters yeah. around. And I was like, Well, we saw something in Disney World where he was at too, and I think that's what I was thinking of. I don't anyway. remember seeing him at Disney World. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, the, just the the point is that that there's a bunch of them. Uh, that showed up and, and it was it was nice, you know, sat there and ate popcorn, which. Oh, that reminds me that popcorn, the best popcorn in the world. That popcorn is really good. Popcorn. I was really surprised. And I think we had some popcorn in Disney World as well. And it's the same freaking popcorn. Yeah, it's good. Popcorn. It's it was so good. Usually that kind of stuff is like, eh, it's all right. The but... Disney World churros were disappointing. <laughs> You're skipping ahead. I know. Um, OK, so that was day one. We wake up. And on day two, we're in the Bahamas. And oh, yeah. uh, I believe the first stop was Nassau, uh, but we did not get off. Nope. Um, uh, because Brittany wanted to just have a relaxing uh, pool day with the kids. Yes. Uh, which turned into really just grandma having a, re- uh, a relaxing pool day with Hudson. Yeah. <laughs> and Hadley a little bit, too. Uh, you guys went off and, and did uh, the water slide. Yeah. One water slide or both water slides? Um, we did one, but, uh, before that, like Hadley and Lucas went on the body slide. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking of. I actually planned on doing that one big water slide, Mm uh, that, that is there and looks kind of scary for someone who has anxiety, Uh, but I never got around to it. So I I know I I wanted to do that with you. Yeah. I'm sorry. I, I planned on it, but it just, you know, everything that we were doing, we didn't, we didn't really do that. Um, okay, so then we had uh, uh, when it was lunchtime, we we were on deck eleven and had you know the the a la carte style food. What did you think of that food in general? Was it good? Was it was it better than other situations that, like that? Like when we go to sometimes we go to malls that have concession stands, right? Yeah. Um, I don't know. Like I don't really compare it to that. I just thought like. Mm. I liked the food in that area more than uh, at the, like nice dinner restaurants. Oh, you know what? That, okay, wait, wait. Let's let's compare this because I forgot to talk about the food in the Marvel dinner, hmm. um, where you get you get an appetizer and um, a, a main and a dessert. Yes. And sometimes you can get multiples of those. Yes. Yeah. Then that's uh, apparently that was perfectly allowed. You can get as much food as you want because you've already paid for right, the package. Right. Right. Which, you know, I'm thinking, why didn't I take more advantage of that? But the nice thing about it was, is, you know, when we first got those meals, I'm like, Ooh, that's, that's not a lot of food. Yeah. Right. And, but it turned out to be the perfect for me, the perfect amount of food because I wasn't, I didn't feel like overly stuffed and it was delicious. I'm, you may disagree on some of these things, but every meal that I had there was delicious. Everything was delicious. So um, I can't remember that what I got exactly, but... Um, that first night, I ordered a grilled cheese sandwich with tomato soup. Yeah, because you're not adventurous when it comes to food. Yes. Uh, which, you know, given that all the, the trips we've been taking, uh, places we go... When we, when we travel internationally together, mm-hmm. you're going to have to get over that. No, oh, I know. You got to try new things, Maddie. Can't just have hamburgers and hot dogs all the time. I don't like hamburgers, first of all. <laughs> it's I'm just it's just an example. OK, so you, you mentioned the uh, the uh, may, being made fun of, which not not necessarily true, but let's, I know, this is a but... good it's a good time to talk about uh, also the our waiters. Like I said, I mentioned we had two waiters. Uh, one basically was taking care of our drinks and, and whatnot. And sometimes Anthony uh, would serve us. But mm-hmm. Anthony and Woody. W- uh, was it Woody? That's what he told us to call him because his name was like hard to pronounce, I yeah. guess. So yes, he, we call him Woody. All right. 
And so he was our main server. Yes. And um, uh, they we had a I I had a lot of great interactions with them, especially Anthony. I really liked Anthony. Yeah, Anthony um, was very like good at knowing what we wanted yeah. after that first night. Well, and yeah, the, the, we we ordered our drinks, and then the next night I get there and I have the same drink. And I already got a teacup and like, yeah, exactly much, right? a lot of tea. Yeah. Yeah. So which one of them gave you a bad time? Woody. Uh, and why? Because of my food order. He ca- I, oh. said, I said what I wanted and he looked at me and was like, are you serious? <laughs> and then like, um, like, I don't remember what he said, but I know he said something. And then like would just mess with me every night. And it was like, I thought it was kind of funny, but I was like, bro, why am I a target? <laughs> because you ordered grilled cheese. Just when you can night. have this all this great food. That was one night. I know, I know, but still. Okay, so yeah, we, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll talk more a little about that, about that. So, okay, food selection. Um, uh, we also walked around the ship a little bit more that same day. We went to some, some of the shops. Um, was that the first time that we stopped in to where, it, what's the, 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 is it the Pandora bracelet thing? Uh, yes. Okay. But we didn't like we right. kind of looked, but Just didn't get looked. anything yeah. because yeah. What what was your impression overall of the shops? Your general impression? Kind of disappointing. Uh, and why? I why wanted them to have more, I guess, because a lot of the shops were either like really expensive, like jewelry or yes. watches, yeah, and not very much like souvenirs. There was like one souvenir shop, yeah, which was like with with then and, and that's the kind of yeah. stuff you you would expect at at. Uh, uh, I don't know, a themed thing, you know, especially Disney. There was yeah. this one big shop with all of the Disney T-shirts and toys and, you know, paraphernalia hats and all yeah. that. Right. All that kind of stuff. So all the Disney branded stuff you could get. Yes. And so that was nice. And then, yeah, when we were walking around, what else was there? High end uh, jewelry, basically. Yes. Basically. Yes. There was one tiny little shop that we went uh, went by, but it wasn't open at the time. And it was just for... Uh, swimming paraphernalia type yeah. stuff like sun hats and swimsuits and goggles and stuff like that. So yeah, I was disappointed too with with the the shopping opportunities. They definitely are. Uh, I think you know they, their plan was to cater more towards people that are perhaps a little more um, spendy than we are. Yeah, <laughs> but like that's also what I like about like the actual theme parks, the amount of shopping that they have mm-hmm. with all of the like different kind of yeah um, but themed items. But I, I mean, yeah, they're themed, but it's all variations on a theme. And so it's all pretty much the same to me. That, yeah, but that's why I liked Epcot. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. Well, we'll, we'll get there. I know. Um uh, our dinner that night was at Arendale, a frozen dining adventure. So very similar. It's like this big... Mm, Bavarian style, I, I would say, uh, uh, dining room, uh, bigger than the Marvel one for sure. Yeah. Um, but they did, uh, what's, what's that guy's name? The, 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 that came out, he was our maitre, or not maitre d, our, um, uh, host for the whole, he's the Norwegian guy that we see I in the movie. I don't remember his name. I don't remember it either. But whoever the actor was, they did, he did a pretty good job of emulating that that character's voice yeah, and mannerisms. Cause, yeah, because he is very like distinctive in yeah. the way he like talks and yeah, yeah. performs. I guess, uh, maybe bordering a little bit on the offensive if you're <laughs> Scandinavian, but I don't know. Just, well, mm-hmm. so, you're, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, um, uh, but there was also um, oh god, who who's 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 the guy. Uh, Christoph, 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 and um, Anna and Elsa, the big hit, I think, of the show. Uh, a few other characters, I Olaf. think. Olaf, Olaf did it did show up. That's right, as a as a as a puppet. But it was it was all very well done and and a great. It was kind of like we were there to celebrate. Was it the marriage or the union? It or? was like the engagement. The engagement, yes. Of Anna and Kristoff, because I'm assuming in the third movie they are going to actually have them get married. <gasps> oh, did, did we get a spoiler for that? Is that, what you, is that what you think is happening there? I don't know, because in the end of the second movie, they did get engaged, but they haven't gotten married yet. So oh, I'm assuming. Okay. okay, I forgot that they got... Are you sure they got engaged yes. in the second? Okay, if that's the case, then they're just reenacting that. Yes. You know, 
So, uh, but but it was still a nice, I don't know, a nice performance. Um, not only that, but uh, there was a three-person uh, band who came out and and did some songs, and uh, they were really good. And they were also part of the Arendelle cast. Yes. Per numbers, but they also they did their own thing. It was it was not part of the the frozen stuff. So that was that was cool. I like that. I wanted to see more of that kind of stuff. Yeah, they seemed like they were dressed like the. Um, uh, you don't remember what they're called? The people in the second movie that uh, they like run into. The people that their the mother is a part of, like that group of people. I can't okay. remember. Okay, I don't know. Yeah, I, okay, yeah, uh, whoever they are. Yeah. It's been years since I've seen that. I haven't I've, seen it I in a really long time. I think I've really really s- seen that second movie once, so. I've seen it a few times. All right, and then that night we went to another show, Little Mermaid. So we basically got the whole show, the whole Little Mermaid show in about an hour, maybe 45 minutes, 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, and it, it was that was good, right? Did you like that performance? Yeah, I thought it was good. Um, it was much different than, well, like not, hmm, rephrase, it was different than what I've seen with the animated movie and the live action. They had changed a little bit of the story, well, but sure. it is very similar and it was a very good like version. Like it was Broadway type performance. Yeah, yeah. I would, I would, I would characterize this as uh, Broadway adjacent yes. uh, level of performing, mm-hmm. performing performances so um yeah it was it was good i i I quite enjoyed it and yeah you have to expect if they're going to condense it down to basically half to a little bit more than half of the running time of 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 the movie they have to make some changes and whatnot i think my favorite person in that show though had to have either been sebastian I loved Sebastian. He was amazing. <laughs> well, and or Flounder. I love the say, way she performed it. Both Flounder and Sebastian were puppets, but but they were basically just hand puppets or puppets on sticks that yeah. they were controlling. And you saw the person controlling them, and they, of course, it's their voice that we're hearing yes. and all this stuff. And they they embodied. I felt like they embodied those characters they pretty really well. They really did, and I feel like they sounded like pretty close. Oh, yeah. yeah. To what the characters actually sound like, which mm-hmm. I was really surprised about. And I think, uh, well, not, I, I don't think I know, you know, we had, we, we would see some of these performers throughout all the shows that we saw yes. uh, on the cruise. Um, and the person who played Flounder played a different character in another production. And, and I'm like, wow, she is really good. Yeah. And the one person that I was watching pretty much for every single show that we um, had seen is... He wasn't even main character. He was just one of the dancers in the back. Mm-hmm. And he, like, blonde, tall, like, dancer. And he was, like, really caught like, your eye, I feel like. Mm-hmm. Like, all the dancers were good, but he, like, stood out. I, I felt like that about one of the female dancers as well. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, I like I said, I, I would kind of follow a few of them throughout yeah. the performance just to see how they did uh, in the shows. But... You know how they did things differently. How how much of the same kind of performance? Anyway, that was a lot of fun. It was, it was mm-hmm. like watching. It was performance watching. Yeah, it was. <laughs> so I people loved watching. it. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. And then uh, later, you, me, and uh, uh, Kitra went out to the Star Wars Hyperspace Lounge. That was so cool. So we were just kind of. I think we were just kind of walking around and just where you know, kind of figuring out where stuff was. Well, and, we went out of the theater and it's right there. Well, I don't think we knew that. Well, no, we did. As we, we did. were walking by, there's a sign there. And it's just, it's just so, it's just, you have to, you have to take a little, a little turn into this opening area and then, and then turn again and there's the door. And so it's not very, I, I want to say it's, it wasn't very well, uh, there wasn't, there wasn't really good signage for it. I mean, there was a sign on the floor next to it. But it, I don't know. I, I guess I kind of expected a little bit more stuff on the outside to depict the whole Star Wars theme so that you knew exactly where where uh, what it was, because right across the hallway, I mean, no more than six feet away was this other lounge with a yeah. stage. And that was the Bayou or something. It was the Bayou, yeah. And um, so it's like it's almost like this is a maintenance doorway or something. 
But yeah. then, but you go in there, and so uh, we kind of stop there and, and peek in. Well, the door was closed, but we were kind of looking because we were wondering, can you? Could you go in? Yeah. You know, so, being 18 and all. Yeah. And so Kitra actually went in and asked yeah. uh, and and uh, came back out and said, yeah. So we went in. It wasn't very crowded. I expected it to be filled yeah. for some reason. Uh, there were maybe two or three groups of people, small groups of people in there. We yeah. we sat at the bar and. Uh, mm-hmm. um, the watches were going off like crazy, though. The, oh, the Disney watches. Yeah. <laughs> we'll come back to that. Um, no. Yeah. But they had in each of the lounges like. A drink for people who are under um, age. Yeah, yeah. And you and had... And I had a, um, like, blue milk. Blue milk, yeah. I didn't really like it very much. It was really sweet. It was. It wasn't that, though. It was more of, like... It was the consistency of it that bothered oh, me. It, it, was, it was pretty... It was really thick. Thick, yeah. It was, it was not a milkshake thickness, but it was... Yeah, it was definitely, yeah. like, a thick milk. Yeah, and I didn't like it. <laughs> um, but... They added like these bubbles to the um, like like in bubble tea. No, oh, no, no, no. I the, know, like I know. I, I don't know how to explain it. Did like, you didn't do it on your drink. Yes, they did. Oh, okay, go ahead. Um, but they added like a um drink like bubble on top of it that like was like not foam. Um, it was like a gas bubble, and you would like well, it, touch it, and it would like it was it it looked, looked cool. it looked like a soap bubble. It did. It had the consistency of a soap bubble, but it wasn't obviously. But then the whole point of it was that it would sit on the drink, and then when it popped, um, uh, depending on what was beneath it, it would kind of it would have like that dry ice ex- kind of yeah, effect. kind of explode out with this this mist kind of stuff. And it looked really cool. I loved it when we were there later. Um, well, the next time when when we went with Brittany, that time I didn't get a bubble. Yeah, uh, but he was doing that. A lot with other yeah. people at the bar and they were he was blowing the bubble and it would float and tr- and he'd try to get it to land on top of their glass and then and then you know have them pop it anyway it was it was really cool uh you mentioned the disney watches and they were going off because what was what was what were, what were we watching the whole time oh uh, yeah in the uh behind the bar like where uh the servers were working um there was like another screen and it was like representing a window on one of the ships. Yeah, like and like we were in a spaceship. Yeah, and then it would uh, keep like doing the like hyper jumps. Hyper, hyper jumps, yeah. Yeah, and so like, our watches were just like buzzing like every five minutes. So, so just in case people don't know, uh, you can get these Disney watches, which they're not, you know, real watches. But Disney what, Magic Bands, magic, that's what they yeah, are called. Yeah, yeah, but they look like watches without actual yes a watch face and so those were the things that you could tie your credit card to to pay for things it would also give you a buzz you for notifications if something was happening and so every time the ship i think went to hyperspace it would buzz us for Mm -hmm. some reason and and if you were in a different a different theme place like like with dinner at, at the in the marvel dinner it did the same thing yeah um uh to alert us that something was going on i guess Mm -hmm. Um, what else did those bands do? Oh, you could get into the parks. Yeah, but they would also like, um, they, for some of the shows and stuff, they would go with the show, the performance, like they would light up and kind of dance in a way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, they were sort of interactive Mm -hmm. or at least, you know, interesting to look at. But man, yeah, every time the the freaking ship. "Quote unquote," would uh, go into hyperspace. It would buzz us, and we're like, "Geez, just how do how do I turn this off?" It was yeah, it was happening a lot. I guess I could have just taken it off, but um, I'm surprised you didn't. I I um, yeah, I should have. But anyway, so there was that. Um, uh, that was where one of the most expensive drinks I've ever heard of uh, you could get. It was like I don't know. It was oh. over a thousand. Was it? Mm-hmm. Oh my god! I was thinking several hundred, but I, no, think, you're, I think you're right. It was over a thousand, and it was insane. Uh, and then there was like a whole thing with like credit. It stopped, tur- like it got to a point oh. where it stopped turning into money, and it went to credit. <laughs> I think that was that drink. And I was like, "How? Yeah, like what is so fancy and good about this?" Well, we didn't order that, but what I did order, you ordered the blue milk. Yeah. I ordered. I don't remember the name of it now, but it was a sour beer, and I love sours. And uh, it was one of the best sour beers I've ever had, that, I, quite honestly. And that night we were arguing about whether there was a glitter drink or not. A glitter drink. Yeah. 
Because I, yeah, you said it looks like they put glitter. I'm like, no, nah, they don't put glitter in there. And indeed, they put gl edible glitter in there. So, um, okay, I think that that pretty much covers uh, day two. Yeah. And I was going to say, there's a lot on day two. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to cut this part out. Uh, we're already at 45 minutes. Oh, my God. And we were, and we still have. <laughs> we still got so long. We still have a week. It'll be fine. So. It'll just be an extra long episode. Just put a warning <clears throat> in the beginning. I don't put warnings. <laughs> I listen to it or not. Okay. So next is day three. And this was our excursion day where we went to Castaway Key, which is the Disney owned. Private Island. Private Island, <laughs> which we were all excited to go to. I was so happy that it, the weather was so nice. It was it so was, hot and it, it was, was amazing. It was, well, it was it was hot, but it wasn't it wasn't like, you know, stifling or anything. Yeah. Uh, you definitely needed sunscreen. So, yeah, because we put sunscreen on, but I didn't put it on my face and my face was so burnt. It, it was, was so, so funny, but, but it hurt. But um, so, you know, you, you got to be, pre be prepared for that kind of stuff when we're especially when you're at that part of the world where, yeah. you know. It's closer to the equator and whatnot. But yeah, perfect weather, though. Mm -hmm. Wasn't too hot. Um, uh, lots of people, obviously. Uh, you know, a ship. I don't know. I don't know what the accompaniment, accompaniment, uh, the passenger <laughs> size of the ship the was. Accompaniment. Several hundred people, uh, at the very least, were on Castaway Key. Yeah. And, and we got started late. Yeah, we did. Uh, which is unfortunate. Uh, and I'll get to that in a second, but. When we finally got to the beach area, we went, uh, staked a, a claim at, uh, at some chairs and then walked over to where the, the kids could be in the, in the water and stuff. And, uh, mostly Kitra and, uh, Brittany, uh, played with Hudson and Hadley. And I collected shells and, for me and Hadley. Yeah. And you collected, uh, unnecessary, unnecessarily collected shells. Oh uh, yeah. I still have them in my bag, by the way. <laughs> um, uh, but we had planned to do some snorkeling yes. as well. So at, at one point, um, you know, after just hanging out on the beach with the kids, I'm like, hey, let's go, let's go snorkel. And so you and I grabbed the snorkeling gear and we walked around to where the snorkel area of the beach was, which was nice because, they, you know, they had things separated out. Yeah. And, you, you know, it wasn't like uh, you could, I don't know if you could, but uh, probably you could, but you weren't among, you know, the throng of children and adults with their kids. Yeah snorkeling in the same area so we went over there and the snorkel area was there hardly any people there yeah but it which, was also really chaotic trying to get those flippers on yeah we, we had this so this is technically our second time snorkeling but really our first yeah because, because that first time oh my god in hawaii was was disastrous um madison literally tried to drown me i did not try to drown you uh i was trying not to get thrown into rocks i know i know i'm teasing but uh it was it was uh it was a precarious situation however so we're like, I was determined because I really wanted to snorkel there in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. um, and so uh, when we had that opportunity, we're like, OK, well, I'm doing it this time. And so you and I go out there, just the two of us who yeah. get our flippers on, have to get our sea legs in a, in a different way because of those damn flippers. But, that once, was funny, but once we got that and we got the mask and, and, and the, the, the breathing tube and everything, we start going out and the water was a little murky um, being that close to the beach and all. And... Um, uh, at one point you decided you were done. Yeah. <laughs> do you want to tell, say why, or do you want to well, just move past that? No, it's fine. It's like, I wanted to keep going cause I was really looking forward to seeing the um, stuff in the water, but because of the murkiness of it and not being able to like clearly see it freaked me out yeah. and I didn't like it. Yeah. Which is why I like, I like swimming, but I don't like to go very far in the water because right. if I can't see, then I yeah. get freaked out and yeah. I can't deal with it. Uh, and so you decided to go back mm -hmm. and um, uh, I wanted to do a little bit more of it. So I was out there flailing around, not really knowing where I was going or what I was doing. Uh, uh, and then I happened to stop and because uh, the, the, the vest I was wearing to help the floating vest to help me help keep me afloat while I was doing this. Uh, kept riding up on me and so I kept having to pull it down. Yeah, but you also turned around because you sent me to go get Lucas or Brittany, see if they wanted oh, to that's join right. you. Oh, that's right. I kept looking for that. You're right. Mm -hmm. And then I saw you and you were like just standing there. I'm like, what's what's the deal? And finally, after like it seemed like a minute or two, you finally motioned to me to come in. 
It's just like, you were just standing there staring at me. Well, I assumed that would give you a clue enough to come in no, towards me. No, all I know is you're admiring the my my athletic ability. Okay. <laughs> so once you do that, I go back and, and then you, um, what was it? It was about lunch or something? Yeah, we were getting food. Yeah. So, uh, which is a good segue to what I was going to talk about next. Because yeah, they say that they, Lucas would go out with you after we got food. Oh, okay. So uh, one of the things they did for this, this uh, Castaway Key excursion was they provided everybody a barbecued lunch. And so we went off and got our lunch, um, uh, which was, you know, for barbecue. Okay. I'm not a big fan of barbecue, but it was all right. It wasn't as good as the barbecue that we had in New York. I will say that. The barbecue in New York was so good. Yeah. Yeah. So we we do that. I'm thinking, oh, my God, I've eaten because I've eaten so much because I'm, I'm just starving because of all the calories I'm burning doing the swimming and stuff and walking around. Um, but I'm like, oh, I, I'm not going to be able to eat dinner. Uh, yeah, I could. <laughs> as we found out some hours later. Um, but yeah, after after we got done eating, uh, Lucas and I talked and we went back and did some snorkeling. No, you guys did some snorkeling. Brittany, Grandma, and the kids went back to the ship, and I just hung out there. I laid in the oh, sun. Oh, you went back to, or they went back to the ship, but they didn't go back in, uh, into the water? Uh-uh. Oh, okay. For some reason, I thought they had. No, they went back to the ship, and I was just hanging out on you the You were sunbathing. Chair. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was a little concerned about that, you hanging Why? out there by yourself, but... Because, I see, I, I was... Well, I wasn't concerned because they would be nearby i didn't realize that you were alone no i was all alone it was fine um okay anyway so yeah luke's and i go out and this is the thing and i told you this before but if you had gone out 20 feet further yeah the water was crystal clear uh it got deeper and so you weren't like you know a foot and a half away from from the 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 sand and and there was all the these the fish um i saw a stingray I really wanted to see that stingray. Oh my god! And and here, uh, so I was I was going ahead, and Lucas was kind of following, but it was but it was kind of hard to. I don't know. I was in front. I don't know how. I don't know if he was looking at me or looking at other things. But he every, every once in a while, I'd stop and see where he was, and he was kind of off a little bit. And I'm like, "Did you?" And I said, "Did you see the stingray?" And he's like, "No, I missed it." <laughs> and uh, so one of the other things that they had done in this little area of snorkeling is they dropped in these things that have to do with marvel productions and so one of them was marvel uh sorry not marvel disney i was gonna say <laughs> disney stuff and so there was a mini statue and uh, that you could dive down and and uh, and touch um uh there was a door for um Boo. monster monsters inc uh and then there was other ones all and i didn't i only saw two uh, I did not venture out into the other areas to well, see. Well, did you see the little like boat that they put down there? Yeah, that's 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 near the door. Okay. Um, and so, yeah, eventually Lucas and I um, went over to that ship, er, the sunken ship, so to speak, area, and um, he, we were there for, a, and then we did, yeah, then we decided to go off a little bit more, or maybe I'm maybe I'm misremembering here, but anyway, I was by myself looking at stuff, and I come upon this. Um, uh, what do you call the the things that shoot the on on old time ships? A uh, turret or a, a gun? What what are, what do they call those? Cannon? A cannon. Thank you, God. This cannon that's just uh, at the bottom and and at the top uh, of the tube, there's an opening, and I'm just kind of looking. There's fish swimming around. That's what it was. I saw some fish swimming around. I'm like, I decided to go closer. And as I'm getting closer, in that area that you can see inside the tube seems like there's something moving a little bit I'm like what the hell is that and so i get a little bit closer trying to figure out what it is and it moves a little bit more i'm like uh and then it popped out its head <laughs> and it was an eel and it moved its mouth towards me and i'm like okay dude <laughs> i'm backing up and i start trying to move backwards but not like you know flail <laughs> Because I didn't, want, I would have. I didn't want to attract uh, his attention anymore. I have to say, I would have flailed, and then it would have come after me. <laughs> that kind of spooked me. It's like, okay, I'm not going to get close to anything now. Um, and then, yeah, we did a little bit more. Well, didn't around. Lucas go over to it after that? Uh, yeah, I'm like, did you see the eel? And he's like, eel, where? And I pointed him to it. And he's like, he went right. <laughs> yeah. So uh, that was fun, and and we were about to go out t- more towards the middle. Uh, way f- towards the edge of the middle part of of the area when um 
we saw what time it was because we had to be back on the ship at a certain time. Otherwise, they would leave you behind. That's what they say. But uh, it would cause problems and we weren't going to do that. Plus, we were getting tired. I mean, being in that water for that long and swimming around. So I was getting foot cramps. Uh, I was just starting to breathe hard because that was a, that was a lot. Most exercise I had gotten in a long time. And, you know, just the pressure of that vest pushing up against me as I'm swimming. It's just it was just too much. So I was done. I was tired. I was hungry again. Couldn't believe it. Uh, but then, yeah, we get that off. That seawater tasted great, too. Yeah, I that, too. But uh, um, uh, we get out, get ready, go back to the ship. It was a great, it was a great day, wasn't it? Yeah. All right. Uh, what? Did you want me to say more? Uh, well, I don't, I don't know if you had anything to say more about it. No, I mean, it was a fun day. I just, I kind of wish we got to go around the island I more. Yes, I'm glad you said that because I was thinking about that earlier. Yeah, I wish we had been able to, uh, had been able to explore the island a little bit more. That's why I say I was disappointed uh, that we, that we did not get get out there earlier. If yeah. I'd known, <laughs> knowing what I know now, if we were to do it again, which I have no plans whatsoever to do, I would definitely get up as early as possible. What was it? What was departure time? Uh, seven o'clock. Something like that. Yeah, I would definitely get out at seven o'clock, and uh, and uh, uh, go explore and stuff. I mean, there were one thing. One of the things you could do is rent a rent a bike, and ride around the the island a little bit, right? Yeah, or, which or is you something could, I wanted to do. And you, you could guys walk said around, no. and well, we didn't have time. There was no point in doing that. Well, no, like when we were planning it, I was like, we I should know, do this, and but, Grandma's like, no. But well, she didn't. She doesn't like to ride bikes. I wanted to do it too, but. Later, when we actually made the plan, we decided to get up and have a leisure. You know, that was Brittany's thing. She wanted to have a leisurely yeah. morning, which is fine. But uh, I really wish we had done things differently which for that. I feel day. like it is weird for Brittany. With these kind of trips, Brittany is usually like, we have to get up and go immediately. <laughs> well, she has kids, so it's, it's uh, she needs to get all the rest that she can. And they do, too. So, all right. Uh, that uh, that night, we had dinner at in the Arendelle dining room again, yes. although it was not uh, a a uh, frozen theme. It was pirate because it was pirate night. Yes. Uh, ship wide, and so they had a sh- uh, pirate inspired dinner. I think it was. They didn't have a show though yeah. during the dinner. No show. Uh, and then that night was pirate night, and so just like uh, that first night that we got there, where they did the the sail away uh, celebration, they they had everybody was dressed up in pirate gear, and they put on a little concert. And they gave you um, these red like bandanas. Oh, that's right. These red Mickey pirate They were delivered bandanas. delivered to our, our mm-hmm. rooms, right? And so you could wear those. People were um, uh, encouraged to dress up in as pirates or in pirate gear of some sort. You, we knew this at going into it. And so you uh, went shopping and and got yourself, turned yourself into a, a pirate captain. Well, because we got a couple accessories because I, of my steampunk um outfit i'm creating and so i because of that outfit i already had like the basic looks for it so i just added a few accessories and then turned myself into a pirate were you a steampunk pirate sure or just a pirate i mean i was technically just a pirate (laughs) and that's the night my um the corset strap broke which is that about but it's fine um but yeah the like so many compliments. Yeah, you got a lot of compliments on, yeah. on your pirate outfit. So uh, that was cool. That was that was that was nice to hear that people liked what you put together. Mm-hmm. Make a like 15, 20 steps without getting another compliment. <laughs> uh, and then, like I said, they had a concert fireworks. Uh, apparently, they're the only cruise line that can set up fireworks. Yep, apparently. And, you know, when you got billions of dollars to spend to bribe people to allow that, I guess it's okay. I don't, I don't know. I mean, if you have Walt Disney frozen under Disneyland. <laughs> um, all right. So day four, uh, you guys, you and Kitra had a spa day, got your nails yeah. done. And I don't know. What else did you, was you, got, you had a mani-pedi or? Yeah. Okay. Um, I walked around myself looking. So at, at, at the stairs going up and down the ship, there were... Uh, uh, artwork at uh, every deck and in, in between the decks. And we had seen some of that walking around the, the previous yeah. days, but I decided I was going to see all of it uh, uh, at, the, at the stern and the bow of the ship on both both areas, right? Yeah. And so I did that. And then we, later you and I did it because mm-hmm. 
I wanted to show you some of those things because there's some just, just amazing artwork. Yeah, and I really wish we um, did look around more at the um, 1923. Um, yep. Yeah. Uh, as you say, and then the dinner that night was at the 1923. So there was uh, 1923 is the the restaurant, and yes. they had they had a Walt Disney room and a Roy Disney room. Yes. And uh, were we in the Walt? Room? We were in Walt Disney, which Brittany was very happy about. Oh, okay. And, and, uh, yeah. And, and we walked in, I'm like, oh my God, we should have walked through here before because so much more art. The art in there was amazing because it was a lot of the sketches for a lot of the original characters and just all the characters that they had. And they even had some like of the original like ideas of how, um, some of the characters were going to look Mm -hmm. before they completely changed it and created the ones that they have now. Right, right. So yeah, that was that was amazing. Uh, we actually were in 1923 again on yes. our last morning there. Break um, fees. Yeah. Uh, so then that night we went to another show. The it was Aladdin this time. Was it? Mm, wait. Yeah. Wasn't that the night that I actually stood up and Woody was very surprised about how like much taller I was than he thought. Maybe. Because, like, he was messing with me every night, but that night he, like, hadn't been as much, and then I stood up, and he's like, oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah, he... Like, you're actually tall, and I was like, yeah. He took a liking but, to you, it sounds like, but... It was funny. Um, The thing about the, the Aladdin show, so sim- similar to the the uh, uh, Ariel thing, Little Mermaid thing, yeah. you know, condensed show. I had confetti every single night. <laughs> uh i to clean that up. I feel bad for them. But so you, you and I have seen the Broadway version of yes. Aladdin. Um, and we see this show. Mm-hmm. How would you compare those two? I like the Broadway version a bit more, but this, the cruise version, I did really enjoy. I thought they had more fun with it and the jokes, like they got, made a lot more jokes. And, and but by they, who who specifically was making most of the genie. jokes? The genie, right? His jokes were funny. Yeah, I, into Walt Disney World. I well, yeah, he was really playing into the whole Disney shtick. Yeah, which was funny. Uh, you know, breaking the fourth wall. But the genie always does that in the original movie too. Yeah, which I love about Aladdin. But. I felt like I, I think I agree with you overall. Yes, the 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 Broadway version was, you know, better. But I actually enjoyed this Disney cruise ship version more. Yeah, I really enjoyed this Disney cruise version. And I love how he brought in so many like the genie when he was making the jokes. It was all like Disney related, but especially when he would be like, oh, well, what about this thing or this thing? And when he pulled out, like, the baby Yoda and, like, all of that <laughs> stuff, it's just, he was funny. <laughs> and I feel like he made jokes, some for the kids, but he also made quite a few that um, most of the adults or teenagers would, act, like, understand and the kids wouldn't. It's, like, things like that where he kind of went back and forth, I thought it was, like, really enjoyable. Yeah. yeah, he made that show for me. Yeah. And I think he's better than the... The person who performed the role in the Broadway production. I really that enjoyed saw. that one, though. He was good, but I, I, I don't know, man. The, the, the other guy on Disney on the ship was so much better to me. So yeah. Anyway, all right then. Uh, we, you, me, Brittany, and Lucas went out. Yes, that and that's we, when Brittany got it. We on hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, let me let me introduce it. Sorry. Uh, we were playing Barflies uh, that night and we went to the Rose. And, you, and why don't you tell people why we went to the Rose? We went to the Rose because it's the Beauty and the Beast themed um, restaurant, but it had... Bar, not restaurant. Sorry. I thought it was a restaurant. No. Okay. Well, lounge. Um, <laughs> but it had a special drink, which it was called the Rose. The Rose, yeah. Which was unreasonably priced. <laughs> But Brittany decided she wanted to get it. That was one of the main things she, one of her goals on being on that ship was to get this drink. Yeah. Yes. And when the person brought it over, he gave Brittany a rose. And then like the the drink was like 
in the um like rose case that from, from, the, from movie. the movie yeah so you had to actually pull it off and yeah. then and then get pull the 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 case top off and and then that so he pulled it off oh he did and, that's right there was like <clears throat> that kind of foam oh like, yeah 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 the 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 gas yeah smoke fog whatever fog. that's what i'm thinking <laughs> what's um, the smoke fog there was fog in it yes it was a, a great presentation yeah but it's like but why, really why did you spend that much, that much for money for it and wasn't and it rose. like 50 dollars it was, it was something yeah i was like at least at least 50 dollars. and yeah. i was like girl it's like uh yeah even uh, i am not that expensive <laughs> and i didn't get anything because I, I didn't nothing was sanded. i got water yeah then we went to we mentioned this before we went to the bayou lounge yes. and they were they had a band performing yes uh, and I had seen this band. They have the trio performing. Yeah, uh, yeah, we'd seen them before. I'd seen them also playing on the main stage as you as we got in the ship. At the some other point. Um, entrance. Yeah, the entrance area. Uh, so we, we sat there and listened to the band. Uh, they, not only did they play some Disney related songs, they also played some pop hits, including a Taylor Swift song, which Brittany was very much into. I think uh, also an Ed Sheeran song. Yes. Yeah. And so, yeah, she, Brittany was singing along and, uh, I was watching, I was watching her and then, and then the band and the, the singer, the, the female singer that was performing at that time noticed Brittany was doing that and, and had a smile on her face. Um, but Brittany was also the only person. That's true. Yeah. Everyone else was just like there, like they were elevator music. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was watching the people at the bar and they're like oblivious yeah. to the performers. Like, w- w- why are you here? There's all, all these other bars you could go to. You could go to the Rose, for that matter, and have a quiet conversation, which actually they weren't being quiet. So maybe that's why they weren't there. But, and then we went to the the hyperspace lounge again. And so. that's where I got the other drink, which I can't remember yeah, what it was. you didn't like that either, did you? No, it was like a very like fruity, minty drink. And because of the mint, I didn't like it. Oh, uh, okay. The mint was very strong, in my opinion. So. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, we don't like mint. I, I had the same beer again. And what's funny is we yeah, you did. we had the And Brittany got the glitter drink. Was it the same bartender that we had the previous time we were there or is it a different person? It's the same guy. And so both times uh, I ordered that drink and he and both times he was like, It's a bit sour. Are you okay with that? <laughs> like, why would I do you does he does do do people order that drink not realizing it's sour? It's like why Maybe. why would you do that? I don't know, but but yeah, it was. Maybe he has to do that. Oh, it was part so of his contract. Maybe Who knows? I don't know. Okay, last day on the ship, day five. We wake up. Um, we are supposed to have breakfast in 1923 again. Yeah. Uh, and then we are we basically go get our stuff and we leave. Yep. Um. Uh, and that's the last time we saw our, our servers, Anthony and Woody. And, um, you know, by that time I've, I don't know, I felt a sort of affinity for them, really especially them. Anthony. And, uh, you know, he was, he was very much, you know, thank you so much. You guys were great. Um, and all this stuff. I'm like, you know, dude, thank you. You know, you were, you were awesome. He just, after that first night, I feel like I was impressed on how they like, know mm-hmm. so well what we're gonna order or like yeah especially with the drinks the amount of tea that they gave me was crazy <laughs> but i love but it. you love it yeah uh, I will every say, time i would get low just bring more of yeah yeah well uh which i i will say though that breakfast the worst meal yeah it was that i had good. on that ship i didn't think it was, it was good, not it was not great uh, yeah. i expected i based on all the other meals even the a la carte stuff mm-hmm I expected it to be a lot better than what it was. Yeah, the tacos were really good. Speaking of tacos, before we move on from from the cross, um, that was the one thing that I regret I did not get. Yeah. I didn't get to try the tacos. They were good. Uh, but the line, uh, and the reason I didn't, be because we had limited time at that time. That's why I almost didn't either. And um, I, was getting, I was helping uh, Brittany get some food. Um, and, uh, by the time I got back over to where the tacos were, which is on the other side of where I w- was, I was always oh, helping Hadley get some food and, um, uh, the line was just too long. I didn't want to wait. So I, ended up, I got lucky. I ended up getting barbecue again. Yeah. I got lucky with the line, but yeah, like <laughs> one of the other things I was going to say about the tea, how the cup kept getting bigger and bigger every single night. What do you? 
It started with like a normal teacup size and then just he kept oh, bringing really? bigger ones. Yeah. I didn't notice that. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Well, that's great. Because I, mean, I kept drinking the tea really fast. Well, that was that way. Yeah. He doesn't have to keep coming back <laughs> multiple, multiple times for you to do that. So, um, yeah. And then we, like I said, basically after breakfast, we got ready and walked off the ship. Went through customs because, you know, technically we were coming back into America. Yeah, I smuggled seashells. Yeah, I was a little concerned about that, but it was fine. Um, mm-hmm. That was probably the easiest. You pretty much just walk and leave. Uh, pretty much. Um, the easiest experience I've ever had in a customs situation. Uh, so that was nice. Yeah. Um, and then we got on a bus that was going to take us to our next destination, which is a, a Disney World Resort and I think, Madison, uh, because we're over an hour now, I think I'm going to tr- turn this into two parts. Okay. And so we're going to sign off now. Uh, come back next time for part two of our Disney ex- uh, extravaganza vacation. And we'll talk about Disney World. Okay. All right. So everybody, thanks for listening. Um, if you have any feedback for me or Madison, you can email me at longboxreview at gmail.com or leave comments at the website or just contact me through my social media. Uh, Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, Madison, any last words about your first cruise slash Disney cruise? No. (laughs) You sound so enthusiastic. All righty. Thank you, Madison. We'll we'll talk soon about Disney World. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Bye.